There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Brandon Thomas! Give me a hell yeah! Let's go! What's up, brother? How are you doing? I'm good, man. I'm doing fantastic. Better now. Uh, good, sir. If somehow people just do not know who you are, can you do me a favor and properly introduce yourself? Let me know whereabouts in the world you are. Plug and promote anything you'd like. All right. Uh, my name is Brandon Thomas. I sing and sang and sing and sang for a band called Bleed the Dream. We still do some stuff. Uh, Warp Tour, The Used, My Chemical Romance, Taste of Chaos, Kill Switch Engage, all those tours. That's kind of where we live. Finch, all of those things. Uh, and we came from that scene. And now I've landed here on this podcast. For, uh, this is the first interview I've done in 15, 20 years just to talk about these things. So here we are. We talked like one other time, but I don't think it was on like video form. But uh, when you started by saying you no, still kind of do- no video form there, right? Yeah, we didn't do it on video right. form. You said you still kind of do something with Bleed? Yes, it's pretty much once a year we do a reunion show, whether we can get on the West Coast or not is a, is a different story but there are people who still want to hear us come play the same old bullshit. So we do. Dude, please let me know if, if, so. if that happens this time this year, because I would love to attend. I've seen you guys live yeah, a bunch well, of times and so it was always a party. If, if, we, if, if, we came, if we came out your way, it would be a chain reaction situation. Oh, I'm there. I'm there. Chain, chain's like 40 oh, minutes yeah, for me. Yeah. Well, for sure. that, I mean, that's, that's hometown for us, like SoCal, Huntington Beach kind of thing. Like, of course, we play the Roxy when we do Hollywood and all that. But, but uh, yeah, yeah, the chain reaction would be the thing for sure. Hell yeah. Awesome. Dude, I, I, I wanted to chit chat. It's funny when when I we, I got tagged in something and then I tagged you in something. Sorry, I'm I'm oh, no worries. I got I'm tagged. In in, I got tagged in something on Facebook and then I tagged you. And then now here we are chatting. And I, I, I know that you have a new something in the works what are you allowed to tell me about this new something that's in the works that's bubbling in the work. well i'm allowed to say that uh so so after bleed the dream um i went all the way back to my baltimore metal roots and and built a band called phantom communique which never saw the light of day however i got together with some musicians who i am now currently working with who are now building paths to I mean, I, I, I can only call it a super group because I don't want to be annoyed by people going, who's in the super group? But it, it's going to be a, it's going to be a super group if you're from that school. Like if you're from that school it, it, and, and I know I'm being cryptic and being I'm left and I'm dodging left and right. You have to. But there's a couple. Yeah. It, it, yeah. We're not. We're, and, and here's the thing. Like we don't we don't want it to be about who we are and what we've done. It's about the art that we're making now. So it'll be interesting if you're interested. And 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 I will I will be fully emaciated in the next step of my musical life for sure. I wanna say I emaciated. have heard a phantom community. That's not the word I meant. Okay. Yeah. What were you saying? Not emaciated. I would say not emaciated, but engorged okay <laughs> well we look man. we look forward yeah. to it i know we'll have more details about that in the, in the future but uh I, i'm almost positive i i want to say i've seen a phantom communicate music video and the title comes to mind is cold or something about snow is is that uh the, the wolf and the sheep is that uh, is there's like snow the in the video or something no who like the sheep send their their weakest out so that they can live again kind of thing and it's all it's all uh you know it's all a cycle of weirdness you know oh yeah, yeah. no it makes sense chat is saying that we lost you nowhere i think we're good i don't know what happened but uh all right for a second we we fizzled out for a second but uh so you do i i know you do you do a lot of hunting right yeah uh, no well i'm 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 getting back into archery so when i was a kid i grew up in baltimore but 
like if you want to go hunt you have to elect to go to the woods my dad was very into that and as a kid it, it brought me peace so anybody that's got add ocd anything like that um it brings me peace like and, and I'm, I'm i'm in this place with a bunch of friends of mine and we were just out back shooting the bow and you just like anybody that does mma or anything like that when you turn a hip and you kick a bag and you hear the pop it's the same thing when you when you shoot an arrow down the range and hear that frack, and it just feels good so yeah i'm not ready to hunt yet but i would like those i would like those uh those chops for I've, sure i've never and gone I, hunting I, but i would totally do it but yeah, no, I, I used to all the time when I was a kid, but it was like I would just go kick the bush out and the rabbits would run and then we would hunt the rabbits. That's cool. But, <laughs> no, it's it's they taste good. <laughs> so before before we went live, I'd asked if if Dave, I, I'd always heard that he owned the rights to bleed the dream. How did how did that not be the case now? Like, how did you guys uh, reamend everything? Now, I would, I would, I would give credit to Dave, and I hope if he, I hope he hears this, I would give credit to Dave for him, because when I got fired, I don't know who knows what about how Bleed the Dream went down. I got fired, and they got a new singer and all that, and it was, it was kind of about Dave planted his flag in 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 the Bleed the Dream mount before any of us could have anything to do about it. And, and that's okay. Like he was, he was just looking out like, so one of Dave's nicknames is Hollywood Dave, which means he kind of knows the industry. He's been around, he knows the things Dave and I never got along because I'm, I'm street cred brand. Like I'm, I'm punk. Just, I don't give a fuck. Like, I don't, I don't like, I don't like bullies. I don't like I'm anti-establishment, all the things. Dave was always very industry minded and guided me in a lot of really good ways. However, I'll, I'll cut it short. He he ended up with the rights to the name, and then we had to ask permission to do any Bleed the Dream further than that. Once we all got on the same page, we started writing some stuff, and it just didn't it just didn't pan out. So right now, the best thing we can do is play some of the old stuff at any reunion gig or, or acoustic. We, we've done a few acoustic tours without Dave and all that, and he's not mad about it, but it's, it's just one of those things like Dave and I, Dave and I are polar opposites. But he's am, but he's involved in the in the reunion show once a year, right? No. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. But he's he's invited to be. So that's the thing. Hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and open this up. He's gonna hate this. You guys go ahead and talk to him about it. Seriously. Like he's invited, but he's got a wife and kids and he's on the West Coast and and around where he wants to be. And I'm I'm 42. He's 52. So it's, it's a different, it's a di like his, his goals are different now. And, you know, it's, it's one of those things like, I appreciate where he's at in life, but, but it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's, you know, you guys go ahead and hit him up. Like, Hey, we would like, if you were a part of the new believe the dream stuff, that'd be great. He'd be like, all right. And he'd give you a bunch of reasons. <laughs> why not. He'd be like, Brandon's a problem. This and that. Da, 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 da. Yeah. I'm a problem. I know this. <laughs> Well, I appreciate you, and I appreciate you being here and Built by Blood and the EP before that that has Villain on it. I, I don't recall the title of it, but I, I jammed I jammed the Thank absolute shit out of, out of those so many times. We talked about it once before, but uh, there was a show in Orlando at like a weird bar that connects oh, a bunch of other God, bars. It's it like a pirate bar. It was so weird. Yeah, you know, something like that. We did a bunch of Jaeger together yeah. and partied. But yeah. uh, dude, I, I do want to do some trivia. I know we're doing some Let's shots do here in a bit. What movie? Let me pull my, uh, what, me pull my what I'm willing to do shots of. Let's okay go. What what movie or TV you show seen? have oh. you have you seen the most? What? Walking Dead. Walking Dead. Okay. So I'll get some Walking Dead trivia going. So what, I mean, I mean, I mean, it's, it's my my well, The Walking Dead, The Walking Dead, and then Fear the Walking Dead. I'm just catching up on now. But like my favorite thing about The Walking Dead, like my favorite thing about every show that I love are that they all have zombies. So you got you got uh what what is it? Uh Game of Thrones, they have zombies, White Walkers. You got The Walking Dead, and then you got there's another one, but I can't remember. Uh, but yeah. What's that new yeah. one? The new yeah. HBO yeah. one is religiously. Go ahead. The new HBO show 
with uh, Pascal, whatever his name is, is uh, kind of got zombies. Yeah, lo- the uh, what is it? Lost? What is it? I it's good. I can't remember the name of it. I can't remember the name of it right so now. No, uh, uh, The Last of Us. Yeah. So Did you, you watch that? Every, everybody asked me about that. And I go, it was cooler when it was called The Walking Dead. <laughs> Yay. Hey, <laughs> there we go. So what would you say you're drinking today? Uh, well, Coors Light because I have to get up and work in the morning. But I'm smoking this delicious dank that. You know what? Only Californians had access to back in the day because I was there. Smoke weed every day. Uh, smoke weed every day. Yay, yay. I got that one, too. I got that one, yeah. too. Here it is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoever, whoever your young Jamie is, is killing it. <laughs> Hell, yeah. If you know what I mean. If you know what I mean. Joe Rogan's young Jamie, he's on it. That's great. Who, uh, who... I actually do all the buttons myself, but, um... Oh, wow. Well, then you're on it. Thank you. K by E, you win. Indica, sativa, or hybrid? What do you prefer? Indica. When, Indica? Indica. All day. Dope, dope me down, please, because I'm high strung and I'm a problem. Gotcha. I like to chill. Yeah. Chill out and just relax a little bit. K by E. <laughs> Let, let's start with some kind of easy Walking Dead trivia and see how you do. Here we go. In The Walking Dead, who stabs the governor in the eye? Oh, for sure. That is correct. Give me well done. Yeah. Can you see this wheel on my screen right here? You do not have to do the shot if you don't want. Or, or chug a beer, but I now have to eat a chocolate jalapeno while, while still chatting with you. All right. Can can we discuss when the timetable is for letting people know about the supergroup? Oh shit! Mm. Like, have you guys so, mapped out like a single around this month? Blah, blah, blah. I'll, I'll try and keep it quick on this because I I alluded to that I almost died two years ago. Like the Reaper was straight trying to take me out, and we had started this project before that. And I lost everything that I thought I was I, I, like, I gave up on music and was like, oh, I'm going to be a dad now. I'm going to be a stepdad and all this. So that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Excuse me. Burping up Coors Light. But uh, it was one of those things like family became way more important than music to me, which is as we get older, your, your priorities are going to shift. You know what I mean? But. So I went out, I went back to LA and then it's hard to explain this without saying the dude's names. Ah. <laughs> so I was not so excited until I heard certain people were excited about this thing. And then we all just chipped in. We all just threw our chips right out on the table and we're like, here, this is what we're going to do. Let's go. So I feel like I'm going to say, this is going to sound weird. Do you like sleep token? I'm very aware of who that band is. It's it's some songs, yes, some songs they're okay, but I know they're like blowing I, I, up left I, and right. I like I like them. It's okay, but it's contrived. We are that, but not contrived. It's all organic. It's all right off the all, right off the plane, right off the gate, and it's it, it, dude. And my guys are gonna hear this and be like, dude, why did you just put up a? Now we're gonna have to go to war with Sleep Token, but. Just saying, it's is is what I call it. It's sexy metal, and if you're ready for it, it's you know. I do enjoy sexy it, metal. It's sexy metal. It's right. sexy, sexy, sexy. Anyway, so that doesn't tell me anything about when we can expect. <laughs> oh. No, no. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say I'm gonna say fall. I'm gonna say fall. Okay, so That's not probably. not too far away. Yeah, no, no, not at all. And it's gonna. Here's the thing. We we, we want to have the art like the album art and all the, like the message already kind of cocked and loaded and ready to go when we drop it. So when people hear the music and there's, there's people that are friends of ours that are label execs and all this, that are going to hear it, that we don't want to know. We don't want them to know that it's us at all. So we, we kind of want like somebody to slide it across the desk and go, have you heard this yet? Oh, that's great. Who is that? Well, we don't know. So that's kind of what we're looking for. Okay, so we'll keep the, the names like Hush Hush and it's just more about I'm the sound. Getting get a fight over just saying that. <laughs> it's 
Well, I'm excited, man. I'm excited to to jam it in in its entirety and uh, and hear some stuff and tell some people about it. But uh, what of all the places you've toured with Bleed back in the day, is there is there one particular show that stood out as like this was the best one? I always tell a story about it. It it it, it just holds a special place in your heart. One show or one place? We'll say both. One show and a all place, right. maybe so- somewhere. I'll say one show. I'll say in the States, one show, Utah. What, the first time we went through Utah on Warp Tour, it was before Taste of Chaos and all that. We went through, and, like, I had a certain swag about my fashion and all this, and, like, we played a show, and all, all the kids were right up front, and then we came back a year later, and everybody was dressed like me. And that, that it's, it's not a, like, I'm important. It was, like, we made it. We made a mark. So Utah, and I, it was it was a very Mormon spot where we were at. So I don't remember where it was at, but it was one of those Mormon spots in Utah. But I'll say Japan, as as Bleed the Dream goes, Japan was very good to us, and and just it was one of those places where I thought it's sad that they don't have the access to music like Americans do because Americans are so over it all the time. We got like crossed arms, just, Oh, it's a cool story, bro. You guys are rad, whatever. Japan is just still bright eyed, bushy tailed, right? They, they, they respect, they clap. It's weird, but yeah, I mean, does that answer your question? Absolutely. Japan and Utah. I wasn't expecting Utah for sure. Yeah, dude, you, again, like anywhere where people are cut off from our uh, our line of thought or our alternative punk rock, whatever, you know, post-punk, whatever you want to call it, our fuck you mentality. And when we land in that town and they all land in that room to see what we're doing, like, and again, those Mormons, like they kind of have to set them, what is it, once a year they have to set them free? To figure out if they want to be Mormons or or sinners or whatever, I have no I idea. Will take some, do they really do that? Some, I'll take some pride in maybe turning some sinners to sinners. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it wasn't supposed to be funny. Just supposed to be weird. It's just well, it, it is what it is. It is what it is. I suppose. Amen. Amen. Is there is there a place that you never got to go on tour that that you always wanted to visit and jam, but it just didn't work out. Man, it was cool. It was cool. In the last few years of my touring life, I got to go to Russia, Lithuania, Latvia, Estonia, all these places I never thought were important. One of the places I never got to go, well, and I, I might make it to, but I'd be I'd be stoked to play some music there is Hawaii. And it's the I made it to Alaska, all the other states, just never Hawaii. I would like to go Hawaii. I'm like I'm a I'm an East Coast kid transplant to the West Coast. I like to surf. I would like to surf in Hawaii and get beat up by some dudes who are like locals only, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I I, I kind of want that. But yeah, Hawaii all the way. I'm a beach kid. I want the beach. I've been to Hawaii once. I was like ten or eleven, and I remember my brother who's eight years younger, was like four or five, and my mom let him go with me on a wave runner, like holding on to the back of me for dear life. And I hit, yeah. I hit like a corner, and he went, like in a, like a American Funniest Home Videos. He flew off like a million miles per hour into the ocean, and it was like, it like terrified him, screaming bloody murder. Uh, and then I was in trouble. The my rest... can't still... I, can't... I, can't find the... I was in trouble the rest of the day after that. I lost you on video. I know that's what that's what I was, I was like. It must. There we are. There we are. Am I back? Not yet. Yeah, now I can see you. Hey, hey. So anyway, For, then what? I know this is kind of a tough question right here, but uh, Scott was the drummer for for Built by Blood, correct? Yes. Yes. And How he was he was the drummer. He was the drummer in the Who's Killing Who video, the Legends Eye video. Yeah. I'd always yeah, heard he was... that uh in, in Legends Die that he was barely able to do that video shoot because of his yeah, illness. He was, he was he was just in remission and he had a a, a leukemia a, a a chemo pump in his head. 
through that whole thing. And it was like, like we pulled to the side a lot of times, like we pull him to the side. Hey, it's okay. If you can't do this, like we can have somebody and just, just come like act like they're playing drums. She's like, nah, fuck you, bro. Like he's the most peaceful punk guy I ever fucking met in my life. Like he was like, no, 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 nobody else is coming in here and doing this. And he did it. He finished it to the last. And, uh, yeah, and then we went. We went on tour right right after he got sick and passed. We went on tour right away. We were out out with uh, Matchbook Romance, and uh, I can't remember. It was Matchbook Romance. Those are our homies. But yeah, it was right away. We had to go. But I don't know if that answered your question. But it it did it did for sure. Um, so. I know you said that Dave is not interested in being in the reunion show, but he's still kind of involved somehow. Is there, is there ever been talks of maybe he's doing like a one-off single? Yeah, there's talks always, always. So Keith and I are always still, still tight. We, we went to high school together. We grew up in Baltimore together. We, he left a year before I did to go out to LA and do this whole thing. So when he and I get together, like, like he's the liaison between Dave and I. Like he knows my my vibe and Dave's vibe are just completely different. So he needs to kind of liaison between that. So I, I'm I'm completely open to Dave coming like not not just open, but I welcome it. I admit that I wouldn't be shit without Dave. Dave just thinks the opposite. Like Dave always thought I was a problem. So it'd be like talking to him to it. Hey Dave, you wanna come play a show? Oh, can can I get along with Brandon? All right. So yeah, we'll see. What when it's completely different? The industry has changed a lot, I'll say, since when you guys uh, were were touring all over the place versus now, because of all the social media changes. What what advice would you give a local band based on your experiences on just getting to the next level regarding like getting out of the garage, getting out of the local community to get a little bit further in your music career? What what's a piece of advice you could give? That advice is not going to change from the same advice I were to give 15, 10, 20 years ago to any anyone that was trying to figure it out. Sell, sell whatever you can, get a van and a trailer and get the fuck out of town. Book a tour. It's going to it's going to look weird. Hire a weird booking agent you don't trust and say, book us here, here, here and get the fuck out of town and go. Just go play in front of people that just want to see a show like that. That's how we did it. That's how we did it. We didn't care if they wanted to see us or not. We showed up and we played. So that's that's my advice still still to this day. I would go back to Baltimore and like friends of mine would be like, so what do we do? And I'm like, pack up and get the fuck out of here. That's it. It's that simple. It's and, not. And that is that how you guys got signed back in the day? Just you we were on tour oh, yeah. and somebody saw you? Yeah, no, we got signed back in the day because we showed up up, up at Warp Tour with no invitation. No invitation. We showed up at Warp Tour and I would go into production in the morning and offer the production ladies. Cho- I go, you guys want some chocolate? What do you need? You need coffee, whatever. We would go to the store. I would get whatever they needed. We would come into production. and I'd be like, hey, we're Bleed the Dream. What stage are we on today? And we were not even supposed to be on a stage. And like 13 shows later, Kevin Lyman goes, I need these bleed the dream guys to come into production. So I came into production. He's like, so uh, I had you on like five or six shows, but you guys should be already gone by now. And I'm like, you never had us on five, or six shows. We were not supposed to be here at all ever. So yeah, just punk rock your way in. If you believe in punk rock, punk rock your way in. Just so go. you just, you followed the world tour from start to, to 13 shows in. Yeah. And then now you're a part of it. Yeah. 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 That no, is punk this- rock, man. That is awesome. I think it was the 2002. It was it was Glassjaw, uh, Matchbook Romance, The Used, all of that, uh, Finch, all of that. And I was like, this is where we need to be. Uh, Dillinger Escape Plan, who are friends of mine. And it was one of those things. We used our friendships to get in. We didn't drop names. We just, we just acted like we belonged. So we did. That is super cool. What, I can't imagine that most people do that uh but i mean well, that's awesome you you wouldn't take no for an answer and you 
Yeah, we, we were told to stop telling that story because people, bands started showing up and trying to do the same shit we were doing. And Kevin Lima was like, can you guys stop telling the story? Because it's like, <laughs> can't. <laughs> That's hilarious. Hell yeah. When when you, when you, we will have time for a couple more, brother. Uh, but when you, sure. when you look back on 2023, come the New Year's time, let's say, what would you like to have achieved from now till then? as far as just personal goals musically? Personal goals musically. I, I would like to get back to LA and finish this EP that we have going on with this cryptic, can't say much about it, super group-ish thing. Uh, I think we all believe in it. It's kind of interesting because we all come from different places and like, wow, wow, if we, we come together and do this and then just kind of be uh, pr pride is a thing. I don't, I don't, I don't mess with pride these days. It's weird. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to a different spiritual thing, but pride is not the thing, but, but being proud of what you've done, being proud of the fellas that you're in fellowship with making music with for the right reasons is a, uh, is a thing. I don't know. Did I get lost there? Sorry. I'm stoned. Mm. No, <laughs> no, it totally makes sense. And I'm going to, I'm going to rub the barn too real quick. Um, yeah, do that, do that. Please. What, what, yeah. with locals, uh, is that what it's called? Locals, smoking, smoking with locals, smoking with locals. Sure, we'll call it that for today. Uh, um, sure, I hashtag correctly earlier. <laughs> Local band smoke out, yeah, yes. Local band smoke out, even though we also smoke out to big bands too. But it's it started at the local band level. But uh, what aside from music, family, hanging out with friends. Tell me one or two things that just make you happy in life. Today it's it's Saturday. You're gonna go do this, and that makes you happy doing that. Uh, shooting my bow. It's simple, man. It it breaks down to really simple. And again, I, I'm ADD, OCD, mental problems all day long, depression, all that. Um, shooting the bow, like I and I, I'm a kid from Baltimore, but and my dad was a hunter. But I was a city boy that used to have to go to the woods and do all that thing. Shooting the bow again, like the breath, the knock, the the release, and the sound of, of the arrow hitting the target. It's 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 pretty much my favorite thing right now. And I might be just simple enough to be weird, but yeah, it's 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 very basic. And 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 I and and right now I'm about to go back out to the fire and sit around a fire with a bunch of dudes and talk philosophy-ish. You know what I mean? That's my favorite thing right now is is uh, bouncing off of other dudes who are not from the same walk that I'm from. I, I, I can dig it. It's getting their perspective on on life and things. Are there weed plants behind you? They is are. Like a garden? I'm I'm right now. Oh. Which one you want? You want this this uh this purple or gold indica in the back right here? Let me. That. On all that. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Uh, a couple of last questions. Uh, is there anything that freaks you out? You're scared of this phobia wise. This is just terrifies. Uh, yeah. Hypocrites freaks me the fuck out because how do I deal with it? Do I draw my arrow or do I draw my, my faith in my heart and my, and my belief in humans? Hypocrism. I like I, I hypocrism. I just made that up. Hypocrites. Like I just want to take off heads. So yeah, that freaks me out. On Built by Blood, what was the hardest song to write? Oh shit! Uh, I imagine Broken Wings, but it, but uh, uh, it's it's uh, I can't remember the name of the song. Can I turn you sideways to search it? Sure. Uh, let's see. Let's see how that works. Uh, oh, shit! I'm a, I'm a race here right now. I don't even know my own songs. Got I, I, just had you I got it right here. What do you got? If you can see Confessions, the sky, no motion, no, 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 no. Black skies. If you could just close your eyes, I'd help you pull the trigger. That one. Just, is that why that one in particular? Just because lyrically it was just because really no drum or Scott could ever touch those drums. If you listen to it, it's it's the craziest boom do better and do 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 better and do do better. And every drummer we hired after that was like, I can't do that. So we just never, yeah. So it's it's it holds a very special place in my heart. Hell yeah. 
Well, dude, I'm excited yeah. about fall time, man. I'd have to see if you and I were made for something bigger. So take a breath and squeeze away. Let's find out what we're made of. All right, I'm done. That is amazing. Hell yeah. Dude, this is a lot of fun, man. I, I can't wait till the fall when uh, more people can know about this project. We can talk a little more about it, start jamming it all the time. Uh, stay safe, dude. Please let me know in advance if the, the... Do you know when this year's Bleed reunion might happen? Uh, Fall, probably. Because we all do things in summer. Kids, cover bands, and all that. It'll you you could fall. two birds, one stone. You can come over here, finish, finish the record, and then knock I out like, the show. I like how you're thinking. Hell yeah. Well, please let me know. Uh, I'll 100% be there. Have yourself an awesome day. Enjoy that fire. Enjoy the philosophy. And uh... no, 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 no. ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Thomas. Hell yeah. Cheers, brother. Thanks, man.